Canon's new mirrorless camera unveiled at last. It's like a regular SLR, but it's much smaller because there's no bulky mirror inside. But this probably isn't a surprise to you if you're a camera fan. The rumor blogs have been circulating details of this little guy for weeks. In fact, it's hard to keep anything secret these days, and it's not just the tech geeks. Say hello to Angela Baby, one of Hong Kong's rising models slash actresses slash socialites. She's making a name for herself in Japan. Panasonic hired her to front its just released camera. Or that was the plan, but then they canned the ad and fired her, and they're now suing to claw back more than a million dollars in fees. That's because Angela Baby snapped this, a pic of the pre-release camera, uploading it to her Instagram photo stream online while filming a Panasonic TV commercial. Yikes, maybe not her smartest move. That said, lawsuits aren't always the best way to go, according to Tom Crampton. The first thing to do when you, your product is leaked and you're deciding, okay, what do we do, is understand who it is, why they did it, where they've posted it, uh, and try and understand the, the, the full situation. Because you don't want to go in with 50 lawyers slamming some teenager who is literally just excited about your product. And as Tom says, while it's usually nothing sinister, companies still need to be on the lookout for more serious leaks, including industrial espionage. Rivals can use the advanced information to make sure their own pipeline of new products is more competitive. Having your big announcement upstaged by a gadget blog can take some of the pop out of your marketing plans. But they're not going to go away anytime soon. And frankly, as a manufacturer, the feedback you can get from these leaks on these forums can be invaluable both for uh, design and marketing. As for me, I was about ready to buy a new camera, but the latest rumors hint at a newer, cheaper version on the horizon. And anyway, who wants to be outside taking pictures when you can be inside reading about it on a website instead? John Gordon in Hong Kong.